This strategy is so secret, I don't even want you to tell your parents about it. Can you be trusted? As you were. This is our new signal. As soon as you get on base, you look at me. If you see that my hat is turned around like this, when you get to the next base, you slide and pretend that you injured your leg. Hold on to it. Yell. Mm, squirt a few tears. That shouldn't be a stretch for most of you. And why do I want you to do this? So that I can take you out and put a faster runner in and maybe score a run that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. This is a very special strategy for our slower runners. Rusty, you would be a top candidate. And if lightning should strike and Frankie, you happen to find yourself on base, I want you to go ahead and clean your glasses off and take a look at my hat. This isn't a strategy, this is cheating. I have no problem if you stop talking right now, Michael. If we can find a way to win fair and square, I for one would rather lose. You cannot stand in front of people in their formative years and say that you would rather lose. I would rather lose well, than please cheat. Don't, please don't waste our time. Quoting from the handbook of curling, this is baseball. This is wrong. Take me out to the ball game. Welcome. You are the luckiest kids. You're on my team. And I have just one rule. I'm in charge. Hey, team. You're looking sharp. I'm oh, sorry, I'm a few minutes late. The traffic was unbelievable. This is very important. This is about the playing, not about the winning or the losing. So, Mike, winning is fun. Line up! When we draft new kids on the team, let me do the talking. We pick Ralph Joss. Dad here is coaching the Pirates with me, so we already have Ralph Johnson. Ralph Johnson's not my son. Well, who is your son? I smell a hit, Frankie. Planet and turn. Oh. <laughs> Let's get this season off to a great start. It's OK. We're all winners if we do our best. Give me a break. What kind of man are you losing doesn't bother you? Do you really remember every game you won and lost as a kid? When I was 12, we went 11 and four and lost the championship game when Billy Nathan got picked off third with two outs in the last inning. Well, you have a very good memory. Stop! Stop! Whatever that was, it wasn't baseball. I thought you said we weren't gonna get on the kids about physical error. Tell me something, why are you here? I'm tired, Don. I need a break. Mike, I'm asking you to be honest, and that's a hard thing. I was a kid who never got picked. I don't want Frankie to be the kid who never gets picked. That's why I'm here. I see our job as creating a safe, nurturing atmosphere where the kids aren't afraid of failure. I need to feel hope. I want to know there's purpose for all this. See? I mean, it's a pretty big thing. <laughs> Go <Go-tay! laughs> Now we can concentrate on baseball. Look, like, animal dead in here? Ah, uh, you haven't changed your socks, have you? Hell no, Mike. I just don't want to drink the team. Tell me you're a beast. I'm a beast. You're a beast. Oh, you're a beast. Oh, God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah! Is that a kid? I got a confession to make, Don. I really want to win. You are turning into a real baseball man there, Mike. One more curveball, and you will find yourself on the spring musical. And nobody wants to be that guy, Jimmy. From a dreamer, shiny, bright. Whoa. 